conversation started almost immediately after having met you. It is not that I did not hear you in the early days warning me in a soft voice. Do not fall in love with me, Daniel. My brain heard you loud and clear from my heart. Dear unrequited, it is not that your friendship was not enough. Indeed, I treasure it deeply. But in these intimate moments, hearing you cry, my own heart roars. Want me instead. I will not invite you into my bed in order to kick you out numb and broken into shadows. Instead, I will nestle you against my ribcage. Fingers gently counting your heartbeats as you sleep. I will be the sentry of your smile as you slumber. I will curse the upcoming day with unrivaled benefit because it means the distance between our bodies will multiply. I dream of a world where no is a fairy tale to scare small children. Where all closed windows blossom into yes-shaped snowflakes. Where hatred is harmlessly devoured by the same creatures who eat our laundry socks. <laughs> In this world, we love each other with the power of surging tsunamis. Dear unrequited, I know many who close their hearts this ill-advised falling in love, but I lack the will to do that. I was raised in a home where love was expressed in physical blows and cruel words. The bodily violations we trailed where love was actually hate. Dear unrequited, I am a loveaholic, a rampaging teddy bear. If my love were an orgy, it would be a five thousand person gangbang, sex toys included. If it were gay porn, it would be Danny DeVito in penguin regalia, sodomizing Gene Simmons in a hot tub. My love is often dysfunctional. <laughs> Misguided, wild and uncontrollable, but also devoted, unconditional, generous. Dear unrequited, when you turn to me in these mutually vulnerable moments asking for advice, I will ignore the screams from my own heart and tell you. Follow that red pumping vessel beating inside your chest. Listen to its rhythms and currents. Like a river, eventually will flow in the direction of your happiness. Yes. Mm -hmm.